if you're going at high speeds and you're looking at the thing that you don't want to go into, like the ditch or hitting the rock or the tree or the hill or all these these dangers that you are going to knock you off that bike, you're going to go there. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Tiff and Tony Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Tony, hello. How are you doing? I am doing well, thank you. Um, enjoying life? Well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad to see that you're all in one piece after your mountain biking birthday adventures last week. So welcome back. Glad you, you look like yes. you're refreshed. So that's good. Yes, it was a great trip. Looking after eight teenage boys was a little stressful. Okay. But we all managed to stay. Yeah, we all managed to stay upright in the main. Okay. I stayed. Yeah. Okay. On, on two wheels and didn't come off. Well, that Mission is accomplished. Yes, exactly. <laughs> High five to that. <laughs> so last week, Tony, you kind of prompted us to what we're talking about today. So I'm really excited to jump in and dive in. And it's where your focus goes. That's where your energy goes. So why don't you elaborate that yes. a little and then we'll dive in. I'm going to use a biking analogy for this. Uh, or metaphor, whichever way we want to take that. But the idea is, right, when I'm riding my when I'm riding my bike on a single track mountain bike trail, where I'm looking is where my bike is going to go. Yep. Um, and it's important that I look to the places that's going to give me the best run, uh, avoiding the obstacles, all of that good stuff. And so, I give you an example of that one of the kids that I was working with uh, unfortunately came off. Uh, it wasn't a bad fall, but he came off. And the reason he came off is as we were going down one of the trails, there was a little kind of ditch on the left-hand side and he looked at it. And as he looked at it, so he kind of went that way into it, over he went. He was fine, he got up and he was great. Um, so it was a lesson in that moment to say, hey, look at where you want to go. If you want to avoid that big rock, <laughs> look to the side of it yes because <laughs> if you're looking at the rock you will hit it yep. um and the reason this is important in life is if i'm focused on all the things that are going wrong if i'm focused on all the negative stuff in my life if i'm focused on the fact that i can't raise money for pure game then the reality will come true that that negative stuff will happen that uh, fundraising won't go as according to plan because I'm focusing on all of the negative stuff. So I'm creating the reality around me that follows that. My energy will flow to the negative issues in my life. And so I'll just get more negative stuff back. We wanna focus on what's, what's something positive that's going on. I'm going to be meeting with a potential linchpin in the whole corporate training program. Um, and it's come about because I'm focusing on the connections that I want to make. I want to make a connection with this lady. And I want to talk about all of the great things that can come from this corporate training idea that we've got. And, and so I could have focused on, oh, I don't know anyone, I don't know any contacts, I don't have the right connections to launch this. And if I focus on that, then I'm going to make that a reality. But I'm choosing to focus on that. And so that's where my energy is going, is the positivity that's around me and the positivity in the world. And I can totally relate to that bike metaphor, because when I first started learning how to ride dirt bikes, I think I've actually said this in previous episodes a while ago, I think last summer actually, and the first thing that they taught me when I got on the dirt bike is look where you want to go, not where you don't want to go. And yes. it works with mountain bikes. It works with life because if you're going at high speeds, especially for a dirt bike, if you're going at high speeds and you're looking at the thing that you don't want to go into, like the ditch or hitting the rock or the tree or the hill or all these, these dangers that you are going to knock you off that bike, you're going to go there. Um, and it's just a natural, it, it's crazy when you really think about how our brain is so connected to our body that if that's what we're focusing on, even though we're telling ourselves, I don't wanna go there, I don't wanna go there, that's where you go. And the amazing part is when you, when I'm riding a dirt bike and I'm looking past the thing that I don't want to fall in, when I'm looking at the, the positive thing I want, where I'm looking where I want to go, that's exactly where I go. 
and I was talking mm-hmm. to a friend last night and we had this same, very similar conversation. Um, so I love that we're having this conversation this morning as well. And it was um, another metaphor from when I would box, um, when I would do Krav Maga is, um, and just learning martial arts is the body goes where the head goes. And that can be mentally as well. Our body goes, mm-hmm. our energy goes where our head is going, which is exactly what you described. If we're focusing on the negative, or if we're focusing on this challenge, too much with all of our energy that's what we're gonna reap you know it's there's so many metaphors and analogies about this you reap what you sow all these sayings and and there's so much truth to them i don't think they're things to base our life on i don't think you know there's there's many like phrases that are like oh this is my life motto i just think they're really good tools to have in our tool belt as reminders that can keep us on track, that can keep us going the direction that we want to be going. And so if you want your energy going to this goal and this dream that you have, then work towards it. And that doesn't mean that you're not going to hit those roadblocks and challenges that you need to work through. It's not like, oh, ignore all of your problems. That's not a, that's not what we're saying at all. Um, it's having a mindset of looking past those problems, seeing the big picture, tackling the things you need to tackle along the way, also knowing that some somehow, some way, this challenge is going to pass and I need to be looking for what can come next. It's the um, human tendency to see the problem in the opportunity. Mm. We are given an opportunity. If we focus on the problem, we lose the opportunity because mm. all we see is the problem. Our challenge this week is look for, see and focus on the opportunities. Mm. See those opportunities and that way you'll much more likely live into them. You know, to bring this back to pure game and and a soccer analogy, they've done a study on this with kids when they're one-on-one to goal and they kick it straight at the goalkeeper, they kick it straight at the goalkeeper because they're looking at the goalkeeper. So if you want to score more goals in in a game of soccer, look at the white net and then you're much more likely to hit that. Um, And so that's exactly it. In in that analogy, the goalkeeper is the problem in the net of opportunity, right? And so what we've got to focus on is the net of opportunity, the good stuff that can come from whatever situation you are in and focus on the opportunity. Keep your eyes on the opportunity because you will then walk into, drive into, move into the opportunity that's in front of you. Well, I think that is a great place to end, encouraging people to focus on those opportunities and go after them. And Tony, again, thank you for another really great tool to add to our tool belt. And we'll see everyone here next week. Thank you so much for joining Tony and me in this week's episode of the Tiff and Tony Show. We hope you feel encouraged and motivated to keep growing with us. If you like what we do here at Pure Game, one of the best ways you can support us is by liking and sharing this video with your friends on social media. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel using the button directly below this video on YouTube. And you can donate at our website, www.thepuregame.org. And with that, we'll see you right back here next week.